Salut, mes amis. Thanks for stopping by. So far, everything that I've uploaded in my channel has been watercolor, and that's because that's what I'm most comfortable working with. I definitely dabble in some digital art here and there, but this is the first digital piece I've made in over six months. Working on this piece definitely helped me realize that there are some really good perks to being a digital artist. One of my favorite things about digital art is just how portable it is. I was using my iPad, Procreate, and an Apple Pencil, and I could paint anywhere. Also, you could change just about anything with your piece midway through making it. That means if I decided that I didn't like the way the lines were working, I could erase them, or I could use a little smudge tool to move them to the side. I could change what the background was after working with the piece, and I could even change my inking style if I wanted. I used three sketches for this piece. The initial one, which was just laying out everything, the second one, which was kind of refining everything, and then the third one, which was essentially my final line art layer. When working with watercolor, you have to think about your paper. Using too much water will cause your paper to buckle, and erasing your sketch too many times can cause it to rip. I was able to erase my lines as many times as I want without fear of the paper ripping, and I was able to test a variety of different brushes so I could figure out what best suited my style. I finally ended up using the syrup brush to fill in large areas and the 6B pencil for my line art. I've seen a couple of digital artists using the 6B pencil here recently, and I wanted to test it out too. As I mentioned earlier, you can change the colors to whatever you want, whenever you want. I remember changing the skin tone a couple of times and Luna's fur like probably three times throughout the entirety of working on this. I wouldn't dream of trying to change the color of the skin midway through a watercolor piece. You kind of just have to deal with it. Later, you'll also notice that I added some things in. Like Luna doesn't have arms right now, but midway through it just didn't look right. So I gave her some arms. That would not be possible in my art style normally. Another thing I really enjoyed while working on this piece was the undo button. I found myself trying to paint traditionally after working on this piece, and I was trying to tap the table like how I tap my screen to undo something I did. I think the biggest issue I had was figuring out what color to make Luna. In the show, she's definitely a black cat, but it's really hard to shade black, so I tried working with a really dark navy. I think she turned out looking really great in the end. I'm looking at a list off camera I made about the perks of digital art, and one of the bullet points is glow brushes, which we'll see in a second. When I was painting this Tokyo Tower, I needed it to look lit up, and that's something that's pretty hard to do with watercolor. But whenever you're working in an art program, sometimes there'll be a glow brush, which I used here, and I think it turned out really great. Architecture is definitely not my strong suit, so I'm pretty glad that it's just in the background. In addition with these buildings, I just made a weird rectangle shape and duplicated it a bunch of times, and all of a sudden I have a cool background. When I was a young artist, I believed that in order to make good art, you had to use digital art. I thought that that was the only way possible to make really cool, captivating pictures. Was Min Wee Ru wrong? Mm, no, but she wasn't right either. You see, you don't have to have fancy materials or a fancy tablet to make cool art. You just have to have a passion for drawing. Of course your art's going to change whenever you use different materials. A watercolor piece is never going to look the exact same as this digital piece. My advice to young Minwi Ru would be to just grab a pencil and paper and start sketching. Have fun and work with whatever you currently have. A big round of applause for anyone who made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll leave my Redbubble link in the description if you'd like to see some other artworks I've made that I haven't shown on the channel yet. And uh, be sure to give a like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have a blessed day! For anybody interested in my stats, here's how long it took me. I did not think it took 14 hours, but who knows. If you'd like to see me make some more digital art in the future, just leave a comment and let me know. Thanks again. Bye.